This is Hustler, the Convair B-58, America's newest and fastest manned bomber, a weapon system which cruises at twice the speed of sound. To date, this aircraft, under development for the Air Force, has logged over 1,000 hours of flight testing, during which it has become America's first supersonic bomber, the first manned aircraft capable of sustained supersonic flight. It has further demonstrated successful weapon release at twice the speed of sound, and has successfully air-launched a ballistic missile while flying at supersonic speed. These sensational accomplishments represent new dimensions for air strategy. This film is designed to acquaint you briefly with the concept, mission, and potential of the B-58 as a weapon system for the United States Air Force. The Delta Wing B-58, a relatively small aircraft, is a high-altitude intercontinental strategic bomber designed to take advantage of technological achievements in nuclear weapons. Its relative smallness, which represents a departure from the trend toward bigger and bigger bombers, allows the B-58 to achieve Mach 2 performance, gives the airplane greater operational flexibility, and increases its probability of mission success and crew survival. The Hustler, powered by four General Electric J-79 engines, is manned by a crew of three, pilot, navigator bombardier, and defense system operator. Its payload is carried in a disposable pod suspended beneath the fuselage. This pod houses the nuclear warhead and in addition carries fuel for the outgoing leg of the mission. Use of the external pod gives the B-58 great flexibility and load allows smooth, clean separation of the bomb at supersonic speeds and gives the aircraft a definite performance advantage after bomb release because of reduced frontal area. The B-58, unhampered by an empty bomb bay after weapon delivery, becomes a small, fast, maneuverable vehicle which is ideally suited for escape and evasive maneuvers. The ability of the B-58 to penetrate enemy defenses is provided by its supersonic speed and its advanced system of active and passive defense. The value of Mach 2 speed as a penetration aid can be realized by comparing performance of typical local defense missiles against a subsonic bomber penetrating at 8 tenths the speed of sound and the B-58 penetrating at twice the speed of sound. Two missile batteries defending a target will be able to fire six salvos at the subsonic bomber prior to bomb release. But the same two batteries will barely have time to fire two salvos at the B-58. This shows a three to one survival advantage for the B-58 over the subsonic bomber by virtue of speed alone. Against manned interceptors, the story is essentially the same. A typical all-weather high-performance interceptor climbing at nine-tenths the speed of sound has ample time for two passes at the subsonic bomber. The same interceptor has only one shot at the B-58. To make this, the interceptor must climb to 50,000 feet, accelerate to supersonic speed, and attempt interception. The slightest error in ground vectoring or intercept fire control will result in a miss. To reduce further the effectiveness of enemy missiles and interceptors, the B-58 carries a highly advanced deception jamming system, specially designed for supersonic bombing missions. This system, which operates automatically, disguises the aircraft's true location by flooding the enemy's search radar scoops with false targets. It also disrupts tracking radars, which attempt to lock on the B-58. The aircraft is protected against interceptor attacks from the tail region by a 20 millimeter gun which is radar controlled. The system has automatic target acquisition and is capable of all weather operation. Navigation and bombing accuracy for the B-58 is assured by an extremely accurate and fully automatic nav bomb system 
which provides worldwide dead reckoning under all weather conditions and includes provisions for taking radar fixes. The navigation system is 10 times more accurate than systems previously in use, one third smaller in size and one half less in weight. These design improvements mean better performance and greater bombing efficiency for the B-58. Now let us take a look at the type of mission the B-58 is designed to fly as a high altitude intercontinental bomber. In typical operation, the aircraft will take off from a U.S. base loaded to its maximum gross weight of 163,000 pounds. It will then climb to an altitude of 29,000 feet. Assume a speed of Mach 0.93 and cruise 2,800 nautical miles to a refueling rendezvous with a tanker. The B-58 is compatible with Air Force jet tankers already in use with intercontinental bombers, so no new development is required in this area. After refueling, the B-58 reassumes its subsonic cruise altitude. Until it approaches the combat zone, the B-58 cruises at subsonic speed to conserve fuel and extend its range. Immediately prior to entering the combat zone, the aircraft accelerates to Mach 2, climbs to supersonic cruise altitude about 55,000 feet, and dashes to the target 1,000 nautical miles inside enemy territory. Bomb drop is 4,700 nautical miles from the takeoff base. After the bomb drop at Mach 2, the B-58 decelerates to Mach 0.95, and cruises to a staging base 1,500 nautical miles from the target. Although the B-58 weapon system was conceived as a high-altitude bomber, its rigid structure makes the aircraft equally adaptable to low-level penetration. The delta wing planned form permits the B-58 to attain a sea level speed of Mach 0.93. This high cruise speed of more than 700 miles per hour on the deck gives the B-58 an additional high penetration advantage as it slips undetected beneath the enemy's radar field of vision. It also makes the airplane particularly suitable for lay down and pop up bombing techniques. Operating from U.S. bases with one in-flight refueling and post-strike staging, the B-58 can threaten 87% of the Soviet target system. The entire penetration distance from early warning perimeter to targets would be flown at Mach 2, twice the speed of sound. In addition to being a highly flexible, potent, and maneuverable weapon system, the B-58 has excellent growth potential, as illustrated in an advanced version, which will provide extended range, increased speed, and multiple weapon capability. This version includes increased takeoff gross weight, improved engines, and external pylons, which will accommodate two fuel tanks, four bombs with Class D warheads, or two air-to-surface missiles with high-yield warheads. In a typical single-weapon, single-refuel mission, this advanced version of the B-58 would take off from a United States base at its maximum gross weight of 186,000 pounds, climb to 26,500 feet, and assume a subsonic cruise to its refueling rendezvous with a tanker 2,600 nautical miles from takeoff base. After refueling, the B-58 would assume a cruise speed of Mach 0.93, Immediately prior to entering the combat zone, the aircraft would accelerate to Mach 2.2, climb to an optimum cruise altitude, dash 1,520 nautical miles to the target inside enemy territory, and release its bomb from a target altitude of 63,000 feet. Bomb drop would be 5,120 nautical miles from takeoff base. After bomb drop at Mach 2.2, the aircraft would decelerate to Mach 0.95, and cruise to a staging base. Modifications incorporated in this advanced version of the B-58 will give the aircraft an increase in target altitude, a 10% increase in speed, and will extend its range for single weapon, single refuel missions up to 23%, depending on the mission. The multiple weapon capability of this aircraft, achieved by trading off the two fuel tanks for additional weapons, can best be shown by illustrating a typical mission. 
The payload for this mission will be the regular bomb pod with Class C warhead and two air-to-surface missiles which meet Air Force requirements for Weapon System 138A. On this multiple weapon mission, the B-58 and a tanker aircraft take off from Bunker Hill Air Force Base inside the continental United States. Refueling is accomplished 2,660 nautical miles from takeoff. After refueling, the B-58 assumes a cruise speed of Mach 0.93 and continues toward enemy territory while the tanker turns back 1,000 nautical miles to Thule. Immediately prior to entering the enemy's early warning perimeter, the aircraft accelerates to Mach 2.2 and launches its two air-to-surface missiles against separate targets 1,200 nautical miles inside enemy territory. The B-58 then penetrates 1,100 nautical miles to its primary target, releases its bomb, decelerates to Mach 0.95, and cruises to a post-strike staging base. Bomb drop on target would be 4,700 nautical miles from the takeoff. Missiles would strike secondary targets 4,800 nautical miles from takeoff. The improved range and striking power of this aircraft will make it possible for the B-58 to threaten 100% of the Soviet target system from bases within the continental United States. It is suitable for both large and small wars and for both global and theater operations. In the continental United States, there are more than 300 existing military airfields from which the B-58 can be operated. The aircraft can also operate from any major civil airport. Overseas, the B-58 can operate from some 250 existing air bases currently available to the United States. The ability of the B-58 to operate from small airfields without new base construction makes it possible to disperse a B-58 force and thus minimize vulnerability to enemy surprise attack. Because of its smallness, the B-58 is readily adaptable to small shelters, which enhance operational readiness in inclement weather, and which can, if so designed, provide additional protection against surprise attack. Tests at Convair have demonstrated the unique capability of the B-58 to meet SAC requirements for quick reaction. The small size, small turning radius, and short takeoff runs, 40 seconds at maximum weight, are major advantages of the B-58 for fast scramble operations. In a variation of the quick reaction scramble known as reflex operation, B-58s on alert status can be flown to forward bases and kept in a combat-ready state during the alert period. Here again, small size and automatic systems pay off. The B-58's operational flexibility, intercontinental range, and Mach 2 performance also make it adaptable to continuous airborne alert operation. In this strategic employment, a fleet of B-58s armed and ready for combat would be maintained in continuous orbit within striking distance of a potential enemy but outside his defense perimeter. This alert force, organized primarily to deter a surprise attack, would be able to retaliate against such attack within minutes from the start of hostilities. This force on continuous airborne alert would be invulnerable to ballistic missiles. The B-58 has been designed and developed for the Air Force by Convair Fort Worth under the Weapon System Management concept. In this management partnership with the Air Force, Convair, as weapon system manager, has sought the cooperation and drawn on the resources of 16 subsystem contractors and approximately 8,500 other vendors scattered across the nation. 49.9% of the B-58 dollar has gone to subsystem vendors and an additional 15.7% to vendors of materials and outside production, making the B-58 in reality a national production effort. A number of B-58s are now being used for development flight testing by Convair and the Air Force. The first B-58 weapon system for tactical use will be delivered to the Strategic Air Command in October 1959. The Convair supersonic B-58 
gives the United States Air Force a high-performance intercontinental strategic weapon system which is capable of high-altitude and low-altitude bombing missions, adaptable to large and small wars, and suitable for both global and theater operations. In this age of highly specialized, costly, and single-mission weapons, the unique flexibility of the B-58 weapon system brings new efficiency to the striking power of the United States Air Force.